Hi everybody and we are on to uh, training video number three for the Currency Selector EA and we're going to be looking at spread factors that play a role in currency selection. Okay, so I've opened up the spread factors table in the Currency Selector EA and as you can see the values are jumping around like crazy and that is because the spreads on currencies vary tremendously from second to second. But let's have a look at this table at first and see what kind of information is shown. So firstly, again, the daily ATR is shown in this particular column. Then we have the pip value for that particular currency shown in the next column. Now the EA automatically goes and finds those values for you, which is quite handy. Then it goes and finds the actual spread being charged by the broker on that particular currency at the moment. And this varies from time to time as the market moves through liquidity and and uh, illiquid phases, the spreads can vary quite considerably during a day. So again, the whole idea with this is to compare how much volatility are you buying when you are paying for the spread. And the easiest way to do that is actually to go to the very last column, uh, which says the spread that you're paying is basically the spread in pips times the cost of the spread uh, that's that's what it's costing you to trade and how much volatility are you getting with what you're paying and sorting that one in order here you can see that the lowest value that you're getting and you can see the highest value that you're getting at the bottom and let's look into that in a little bit more detail so what it's saying is the the uh, the spread is five. It's costing me ten, roughly ten pips. So that's roughly fifty dollars, and I'm buying fifty pips of volatility during a day. So it is in a very expensive currency that particular one because it's costing me roughly, and and you'll see this will change, uh, one. The ratio here is one. There it goes to one, and even lower than one. So. It is a very expensive currency to trade. Now, if we go down to the bottom here and we look at the pound Oz, it's by, or the yen, it will bounce around a lot there. Let's look at the yen. The yen has volatility of 70 pips, and the pip value is roughly $9. But the broker only charges 0.07 pips for the spread. So the cost is only about $7. So if you divide the volatility of 70 by the $70, you get a ratio of 10. So you bu you're buying 10 more units of, of volatility for every dollar you're spending on your spread. Now you can see how much cheaper it is to trade the yen, for instance, compared to the New Zealand franc. Now, the, these calculations normally shock people because they don't realize how expensive certain currencies are to trade relative to their volatility and how cheap other currencies are to trade relative to their volatility. So when you have an identical, identical trade that's setting up uh, on two different currencies, one of the first things I would do is come and have a look at how cheap the spread is on the one, how cheap the spread is on the other one. And naturally, the answer is to trade the one with the cheapest spread. Having said that, that's not the only factor that you should take into account when you decide on which currency to trade. It is one of the factors that you need to account, uh, take into account. Obviously, again, the, the, the higher the volatility of a particular currency and the cheaper the spread, the more value you're going to get out of that total deals like at the moment the pound Oz is by far the best value in the market it's got good volatility and it has a very cheap spread very cheap look at look how cheap that spread is so this shows you the value of this particular 
table and as I say you need to look at this table at least three or four times a day because the values change considerably as new markets open and volatility levels change from being illiquid to liquid and vice versa. Okay, that's about all for this particular video. We'll move on to the next video uh, using the weekly uh, volatility. And to go to that video, just click on the link that appears on your top right-hand side of your screen right now.